this much, as I said, it has a, an, a split at the back because there is very little uh, difference between the size of the print, the size of the print and the size of the mat. And um, you won't need any acid-free dot, dots with this size. It will hold perfectly. So what I do not want you to do, I don't want you to start opening this, you know, uh, like the sides of the backing like doors. No, you will just ruin the mat this way. You also use it as a regular mat. Uh, you kind of push with your finger in the middle and you insert the print from the top or from the bottom. It has openings from both sides. Not like uh, bigger size mats. It has. You can insert it from this part or from this part. I will show you. Uh, you see, you can take it out like this. So um, just be careful. Try not to uh, push too hard. You know, just taking these doors out of the ways. No, it's not what it's for. You know, all you need to do to insert the print from any size, from top or from bottom, gently push it in the middle of the split with your finger to help you to move the print. And once you're happy, you're happy, and I just wanted to show you, like I thought about using the black, the black mats, basically for black and white images. But after I looked, I just decided that they look equally gorgeous with the black and white, dark gutsy black and white, and also with dark color images. Um, and white mats can be used with black and white images and with color images. So you just go with your feel. I like them both. Okay, it was nice talking to you. It was Arena Thompson with my ultra thin slip and mats. They're acid free and they're ready to use. Thank you.